Inside Norway's $47 billion coastal highway, Europe's largest megaproject, Norway is embarking on a grand project of epic proportions that is set to revolutionize travel across the country. The E39 coastal highway project is a colossal feat of engineering prowess. This ambitious undertaking, recognized as the most monumental project in Norwegian history, unfolds along the breathtaking west coast, spanning over 1,100 kilometers from Kristiansand to Trondheim. The primary goal is to slash travel times by a staggering 50%, fostering swifter and safer transportation connections for both individuals and businesses. But will this vision ever be realized, given the project's inherent challenges? And is this project worth the billions invested? Join us on this extraordinary journey through Norway's $47 billion coastal highway project, where we will be delving into the engineering marvels, challenges and transformations that this project is set to bring to the region. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. So, let's delve into the details. In an ambitious endeavor, the Norwegian Parliament, also known as Stortinget, has set its sights on transforming the E39 into a seamless coastal highway route, connecting the southern city of Kristiansund to the northern hub of Trondheim by 2050. Spearheaded by the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, this colossal project aims to redefine travel along this scenic route, touching six counties and major cities including Stavanger, Bergen, Ålesund and Molde. Currently, the journey along this route takes approximately 21 hours, requiring travelers to navigate through seven ferry connections. Wow! You can't even imagine the frustrations these people go through to make it to these ferries. Recognizing the need for improvement, the Norwegian authorities are investing a staggering $47 billion to make this coastal journey more efficient. The transformation promises not just a reduction in travel time, but a more convenient and captivating experience for those who traverse this picturesque Norwegian coastline. This ambitious transformation involves replacing ferries with cutting-edge bridges and tunnels, and upgrades to various on-land road sections. The objective is to enhance efficiency and make the journey more convenient, promising a significant impact on Norway's national economy. Since 60% of Norway's export goods originate from the west coast, a streamlined and reliable transportation system is poised to be a game-changer. The ripple effect of connecting cities along the west coast goes beyond mere convenience. It's about reshaping living patterns in the region. This upgraded road won't just be a thoroughfare, but a catalyst for easier access to essential services like hospitals, job opportunities and schools. Moreover, the E39's extension to Denmark establishes a vital link between Norway and Southern Europe. While the benefits are undeniable, the price tag for this ambitious venture is substantial. However, the hefty investment is seen as a strategic move to pave the way for a more connected, efficient and prosperous future for both local communities and the broader European network. The plan to replace seven ferries along the E39 involves considering unconventional structures, specifically the innovative Submerged Floating Tube Bridge SFTB. This revolutionary approach targets fjords with extreme depths and expansive widths, where traditional solutions like suspension bridges or floating bridges face formidable challenges due to harsh weather conditions. Standard engineering solutions fall short for fjords surpassing 100 meters in depth or stretching over 2 to 3 kilometers in width. The conventional rock tunnel option becomes impractical due to the significant land requirements on the shores. Floating bridges and other structures like tension leg platforms TLP, while suitable for deep crossings, are susceptible to the whims of harsh weather elements such as strong waves and currents. This is why the SFTB is an enticing solution tailored for the longest and deepest fjords. Its unique submergence capability naturally mitigates the primary sea load, addressing the challenges of severe weather conditions. The submerged tube would find its place beneath the water surface, strategically deep enough to avoid disrupting water traffic and reducing the impact of the main sea load. Typically, a depth range of 20 to 50 meters is considered sufficient. Vertical stability would be ensured through tethers anchored to the seabed or floating pontoons at the surface. Navigating the majestic Romstelsfjord in Norway is set to involve an impressive 16-kilometer undersea tunnel akin to the Rogfast project, linking Alesund to Midsund. Following this, 
a two-kilometer suspension bridge will seamlessly connect to Molde. Yet the most intricate and ambitious feat lies ahead at Sonja Fjord, known as the King of the Fjords. This colossal fjord, Norway's largest and deepest, spans over 3.7 kilometers in width and plunges an astounding 1.3 kilometers at its lowest point. Beyond the inherent challenges posed by these staggering dimensions, engineers face the added complexity of accommodating the high volume of ships navigating the fjord regularly. Any crossing over Sonja Fjord must provide an unobstructed shipping lane, ensuring a width of at least 400 meters, a clearance of 70 meters above the water's surface, and a minimum depth clearance of 20 meters. Safety and user experience are paramount considerations in this ambitious project. Rigorous tests are underway to evaluate the potential driver experience and address safety concerns. This includes scale tests for scenarios like fires and explosions, anticipating potential risks such as a truck carrying dangerous goods exploding within the tunnel, and the possibility of ship or submarine collisions, given the fjord's role as a training ground for the Norwegian Navy. This innovative submerged floating tube bridge exemplifies engineering prowess and signifies a bold leap toward overcoming nature's barriers in the quest for a more efficient and reliable coastal highway system. However, the prospect of a floating bridge is also under consideration. But the challenge lies in engineering a structure that can rise to allow ship passage. To ensure seamless marine traffic beneath the bridge, an innovative 300-meter cable stayed transition span will be deployed at the south end, boasting an impressive 45 meters of vertical clearance. A series of discreetly spaced steel pontoons will be employed to facilitate this crossing, positioned at 100-meter intervals, acting as floating foundations reminiscent of stepping stones across a stream. Distinguishing itself from its counterparts, the proposed bridge over Bjornafjorden introduces an anchor cable system, a practical necessity owing to its extraordinary length. While end anchor designs suffice for structures like Nordhordland and Bergsøysand, the sheer span of Bjornafjorden prompts the inclusion of anchor cables, likely distributed across multiple pontoons, though not necessarily on all of them. The configuration, whether splayed at an angle or tethered vertically, remains a subject for future clarification. Adding a distinctive touch to Norway's floating bridge blueprint is the curvature strategy. Unlike its straight counterparts, Bjornafjorden is set to feature a gentle inland curve resembling an arch. This curvature is a strategic measure to counter lateral forces exerted on the bridge, especially considering the majority of the structure will remain untethered. Overall, the floating bridge is still a puzzle yet to be solved by the engineering community. The journey towards a transformed coastal highway is undoubtedly filled with challenges and excitement. But as Norway charts new ideas in engineering with its visionary E39 coastal highway project, the prospects are nothing short of awe-inspiring. So what do you think of this project? And do you think Norway will be able to accomplish its goals? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned for the next exploration of groundbreaking projects. Until then, let's dream big.